We fell in love with Rachel McAdams and Ryan Gosling thanks to The Notebook and got attached to Julia Roberts and George Clooney after the Oceans franchise, but it seems no on-screen couple will ever really compete with our favorite film duo of all time, Titanic's Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet. The former co-stars have made us believe in love since 1997, and their continued friendship only heightened our hopes for something to spark between them in real life, too. In fact, Winslet, who covers the latest issue of Glamour UK, gave us all the feels when she gushed over her adorable relationship with DiCaprio. You don't even want to know the last conversation we had, because it was so funny and made me laugh so much, she told the magazine. We found ourselves saying to each other, can you imagine if the world really knew the stupid things we say? I'm not going to tell you what we actually talk about, but yeah, we're very, very close. Ugh. Can you even? Bond 20 years after their titanic love affair. These shots of the co-stars getting cozy poolside in Saint-Tropez have sent the internet into a titanic frenzy, but the affection is purely friendship that's lasted two decades. We're like partners, you know what I mean? I can't say enough fantastic things about that girl. I mean, we had such a camaraderie. Kate and Leo were in France for the Leonardo DiCaprio Foundation Gala where they auctioned off a dinner with the two of them, but they're tight even when they're not together. Leo looks out for Kate like when she was shooting her upcoming movie, The Mountain between us. I would send him little photos of me saying, you know, thank you of you, as I'm lying, you know, in the freezing snow, covered in ice, um, and he would just send back sort of, you know, slightly worried looking emojis. I love you, Jeff. The most moving for me was um, most definitely the scene at the end when uh, we go down with the ship and we surface and we find the driftwood and, and there's a scene that takes place when we're under the stars and things are quieter. Don't you say your goodbyes. But Kate and Leo's chemistry never dies. They picked it up where they left off nine years ago in Revolutionary Road, while Kate's then-husband and the movie's director, Sam Mendez, watched their sexy scenes. Truth of the matter is that I kind of very selfishly didn't think about that. Hmm. <laughs> He's kind of that close of a friend. I would love to work with him again one day, but who knows, you know? It might not happen until we're 70. Meanwhile, Titanic was just the beginning of what would turn out to be a very successful career for Winslet. But did she ever consider a plan B if acting hadn't worked out so well? I should have had one, because if it had all gone tits up, I would have been stuck, she admitted. I had a fleeting idea about becoming a hairdresser, but I cut off a friend's earlobe trying to cut their hair. I saw him again not too long ago and I was like, I'm so sorry for your earlobe. He said, yeah, you can still see the marks, but I'm proud of that now, Kate. Lol. Now, Winslet is busy promoting her upcoming film The Mountain Between Us with Andres Elba, which comes out in October. The film centers on two strangers, Winslet and Elba, who survive a plane crush and must forge a connection in order to continue surviving in the extreme elements of a remote, snow-covered mountain. After they realize no one is going to find them, they embark on a perilous journey across the wilderness. The most difficult part was being dragged soaking wet through the cold snow, but my biggest fear was not actually getting pneumonia, it was a dress treading on my hair, she explained of filming. I didn't want to ruin a take by going, arg, he's stepping on my hair. She continued, and however hard it looks for me, it was harder for a dress to anchor his feet on the ice. It was freezing cold. He was also soaking wet, and I weigh a ton because all those clothes I'm wearing are soaked through.